Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back out with my friend, little Schmickle Dosselfin. Oi, oi. <laughs> we're in the city of Sunderland, and today we're going to be tasting some of Britain's low star takeaways. Oh, yes. You better believe it, man, dingoes. You know what makes sense. Right. Alright folks, me and Mick, we've just been out for a walk, working a hunger up, now we're going to make our way down to the Chinese takeaway we're going to get some food from, it's been given a zero in the food hygiene rating from the local council, so brrr, could be a dodgy one, but we'll give it a go and we'll give it an honest review, won't we Mick? Oh yeah. Two rights. Okay then my fansexuals, I will see you when we get down to the Chinese takeaway. Lice. All right, Mandingos, we've just parked up in the Hendon area of Sunderland. We're going to go into the, the Zero Star Chinese takeaway in a minute and order a few things off the menu. It's called Yummy Kitchen. And I've got to be honest, the name of it isn't filling me with confidence, Mick. Yummy Kitchen doesn't sound too nice to me. But we'll eat it and we'll tell you what we think. No bullshit here on the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. And no food will probably go to waste, because me and Mick, we like our food, don't we? Oh, yes. Okay, then, Mandingos. How are we? <laughs> oh, Mason. Oh. <laughs> that was good timing, Mick. Right, folks. We're just making our way over to the Chinese. When I get in there, I'm going to just keep the camera pointing down. And I'll let the camera keep rolling. I don't want the people to know I'm recording. You know what I'm talking about. Are we? Come on, Mick. You got first, Bonnie lad. Why you some Tom Cruise? It's Bonnie. Ay, 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 ay. 
Yes, sir. Okay. All right, mate. Can I have um, chicken curry with fried rice? Uh -huh. um, bag of chips. Yeah. Now some prawn toast and some spring rolls, please. Mini spring roll, yeah. Aye, way aye. Mini spring roll and a prawn toast. Yes. Cheers, mate. Aye, I can have uh, two cans of coke as well, please, mate. Two you know, can of coke. Two cans, aye. Yeah. <laughs> you know, makes sense. That'll do, mate. Cheers. So, chicken curry, fried rice, mini spring roll, prawn toast. And a two can of coke. Aye. 18 pounds. Right. right. Yeah. Okay, then, my fansexuals, me and little Schmick, they've just came round the back of the Chinese takeaway while we're waiting. Very hungry now. Little Schmick's belly is growling. You don't want to keep him waiting when he's hungry, he gets very angry. Oh, too right, he does. Yes, guys. As soon as we get the food, we're going to jump into the back of the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual. We're going to drive somewhere, park up, and then we're going to get stuck in. Oh, you better believe we are. Inside the Chinese takeaway, it was okay, wasn't it, Mick? Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with it. it. Wasn't dirty. You know, it was pretty clean. It was just like your, your typical Chinese takeaway. So, no complaints so far, Mandingo's. Okay, then, I will bring you back when we've got our food and we're ready to get stuck in. Oh yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Right folks, we've got the food. Let's go and get parked up somewhere and get stuck in. Oh yeah. Well guys, Mick's not happy. We've just had a quick look in the bag and he's forgetting to give us our chips. So I'm gonna have to go back. Can I do without the chips, can you guys? Oh well then, there's a way back and we'll get this sorted out. Hello mate, you forgot to give us the chips. There's no chips in the bag. <laughs> no problem mate. Thank you mate. Cheers. That's it guys, we're in the back of the old Van Dingo. There's our food. All ready for me and Mick. The little man dingo is ready to dive in. So guys, let's get this food served up. Right guys, we're parked up and we're all set up. We've got the table here, we've got our plates, our forks, cans of pop, food. Let's have a look. We'll get the chips on first, Mick, eh? Plenty of chips that we nearly didn't get. Luckily, I checked the bag. Nice and hot, the same more okay. A little well done, some people might think, but I like the chips well done. Oop, Nick, spilling a few there. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Crispy on the outside. A little bit soggy, to be honest, on the inside. But the taste okay. Alrighty, let's get the old spring roll skis. There's four for you, Schmidt. Get them on mine. What's that? Black chicken with the spring rolls. What else we got? Prawn toast. I love a bit of prawn toast. There's a couple for Schmick. There's a couple for me. Another one. There's some more in the bag for later, Mick. Put that there. Alrighty. Let's get the fried lice. I'll share this out, Mick. 
Get yours on first, mate. Oh yes, still steaming, nice and hot, as it should be. There you go, my little man friend. Get mine on. You know, when you get your food and a fish comes, sometimes you know you've got a bad one, don't you? Before you even start eating it and you're just looking out and you're thinking, oh God, this looks shite. But it looks okay. It, looks okay. it doesn't look like it's gonna be anything special, but it doesn't look terrible either. Right, Nick, last but not least, the chicken curry. Looks like there's onions down there as well. Yes, that'll ding dang do for me, guys. I love a bit bunion. You like a bit bunion, Schmick? Oh, yes. Two lice. Two lice shakur. You know, Mick, I'll get a bit of that sauce on. There you go, little schmickerubel. Get stuck in. Curry taste all right. Here we go, guys. Get the chicken there, the chip. That curry sauce is really nice. Really nice. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, pleasantly surprised. That chicken curry, really nice. With the onions in as well. Mm. Absolutely lovely jubbly. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's try a bit prawn toast. First time I've tried this. You haven't had prawn toast before, have you? No. So you can't really judge. Got a nice crunch to, it on, the, crunch to it on the outside, which I like. Soft on the inside. It tastes okay. And it tastes nice as well. So, no complaints about the prawn toasty. Have a bit fried lice, with a bit bunion. Mm -hmm. Light and fluffy. I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Isn't it? Pretty good. When you see like the zero star rate. <coughs> zero star rating and you think Jesus Christ this is going to be terrible but no no I've got to, I've got to tell the truth and be honest spring rolls are quite nice, nice. Put a spring roll there All right. the spring rolls taste nice they're a little bit soggy if I'm honest but the taste okay yeah definitely no complaints here now as far as the kitchen's concerned in the takeaway I don't even want to think about what's going on in there because zero star it's obviously it's had its issues but <laughs> you know what I mean it's best just not to think about that but I've got no complaints. Same, no complaints. I had a vision earlier on of eating it and being reaching. Yeah. Because you do think that, don't you? Think Jesus, Jesus, star. You picture him bloody 
It's just something absolutely disgusting. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Quite decent indeed. My man friends. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well Mick. Don't think you'll eat all yours mate. You normally only eat half of it and take the rest don't home don't you? Home. You'll have that for your supper tonight. Still fall out of bed. Hopefully, we haven't got the shits in the morning. Mm. May mix up work early tomorrow morning. So, mm -hmm. time will tell. Nah, I'm off tomorrow. Oh, God, I. You're off all week, aren't you? Yeah. I'm at work tomorrow. Mix off. I must say, I was mad about tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're all right. You can, you can sit on the toilet all day tomorrow, can't you? If you're bad. I'll be glad if I'm eating like a pig. But you know the score. When you've got Chinese, you just gotta get stuck in. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised, Mick. Nice, so I'm not gonna let you guys watch us munching away like a couple of animals for any longer. I'm gonna give it a little score of 10, Mick. And based on now it's a zero star takeaway. It's currently zero star. You know, they normally get so long, don't they? To fix the problems and then they can go back up to three star or four star or whatever they're going to get. Anyway, that's enough of me talking shit. I'm going to give it a five out of 10. It's not the best Chinese I've ever had, but it's certainly not the worst. It's, it's average, but I'm, I'm over the moon with that, Mick, because I thought it was going to be rotten. What do you see? I'm going to do it five and a half out of ten. Five and a half? Yeah. All right, well, not a bad score, it's considering it's considering you can go to some Chinese takeaways that's supposed to be really nice, and they've got like a four-star rating, and sometimes it can be absolutely shite. So, yeah, we're going to finish this off, Mandingos, and I will bring you back when we're outside mix, and we're going to do a little world famous Wasi with you. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. You better believe your man dingoes. Right. Oh, yes, man dingoes. You know what time it is. Wasi time. And this is what we've got this time. Glen Fiddick, 18 year old. Oh yes. I've never actually had this one before. I've had Glen Fiddick a few times. I've had the I've had the 15 year old one a couple of times. First time with the 18 year old one. Anyway, let's get it poured in. The old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Oh yes. Alrighty. In fact, Mick, I will let you. Have the first smell. Get your little schnackaroonie in there, dingo man. What are you getting? Cinnamon. Cinnamon? As well. Anything else, mate? Maybe apples. Well. Maybe apples? Well, let me have a go. Oh, I get them that strong cinnamon smell straight away, guys. You spot on there, Mick. And you see apples. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like a, like a, like a toffee apple smell, like a like a burnt or like a roasted toffee apple. Oh, very nice indeed. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Rice. Right. Yeah, you can taste the cinnamon straight away, and I'm also getting spices, like a nice gingery spice, little tingle in the throat, but not harsh or anything like that. Where Mick was seeing apples. And the smell and the taste for me 
It's more like apricots. You have a taste of that, Mick? Don't just agree with me. You say what you think. Well, I'm getting the ginger smell. Yeah, taste. Oh, the ginger is kind of yeah. pretty strong, isn't it? I've got apples as well. Huh? You get apples and all. Well, I thought apricots, and you think apples, but it has got a very fruity thing going on, mandingos. Let's get another little taste. Mm. It's really nice, by the way, like, isn't it? You can tell it's a quality 18 year old whisky. Mm. Now I'm getting a lovely taste there. <coughs> mm -hmm. After the fourth taste there, I'm getting a lovely taste of sherry coming through. Oh God, that is really, really nice, Mandingos. You must be able to taste the sherry. Yeah, taste the sherry. Aye. Yeah. It comes through, doesn't it, after a few tastes. Yeah. Last dregs, down the hatch, Mandingos. Mm. Well, guys, that nice. was absolute quality. First time I've had the 18-year-old one. And it certainly won't be the last. Lovely. Lovely smells. Lovely taste. Everything about it was quality. And I'm going to give that a big fat 9.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You better believe I am. Schmick, what's your score? I will give that 7.7. 7.7? Oh, well. Yeah. Not, as, not as good as mine. But still nice not a bad one. score, still not oh, a nice. bad score. Well, that's your choice, my little man friend. There you go, guys. 9.3 and 7.7. .7. Still a pretty decent score for Glenn Fiddick, 18-year-old. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. This is serious whisky tasting. And that's the end of this week's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time. You enjoyed yourself, Mick? I've had a class time. He's always enjoying himself when he's eating. So, <laughs> me too. I'm always enjoying myself when I'm eating, guys. Even though the food, it was okay. It was nothing special. It's still done the job for me and you, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Too right to do, guys. Anyway, if you've enjoyed that video, please give me and Mick a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Blood Outdoor Show. And if you like this sort of thing, guys, we'll bring you more of this foodie shit where we're eating from the the low star takeaways, whether it's zero star or one star, we're not looking at going any higher than one star. We're going to keep it low because I think there's some good takeaways out there that's been given a bad score and we'll find them. You better believe we'll man dingoes. That's it, guys. I will see you on my next video on Sunday night where I'll be wild camping in the Lake District with the two Chris's. All righty. See you on Sunday. Right. Oh, I'm